Um, this is Sister Catherine Ryan, Sister Kathy. Yeah, she's Catholic nun. She put the nail in the coffin for me with Catholicism. She sure did. She was the director. She's still the director at Maryville Academy. They own a ton of residentials where DCFS wards stay, and they're not good places. It's where they fill a bunch of uh, many of the staff members. Not all. There's some good staff. But many of them are, you know, like fresh convicts and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I said when I worked at their acute hospital, and their acute hospital was owned by Maryville, so she was the director over it. So when her chief nursing officer abused, emotionally abused the 15-year-old boy, she didn't care what I had to say. But why would she? She goes back to juvenile justice and all the politicians that were on the board. I'm gonna show you who was on the board. Sister Kathy Ryan led the Cook County State's Attorney's Juvenile Justice Bureau from 97 until December 2004. During that time, um, uh, I can't see part of it, but you can see Attorney Richard Devine. Yes, he was the state's attorney. Yeah, they're very tight. I'll show you a quote. What? Dick had to say about Sister Kathy. Yeah, and then, you know, Barack Obama and Bill Ayers, they were all tied into the... It's like they came in after around that time, right? Or, well, maybe they were there at the same time. Who knows? But they all seem to have their, their claws in state wards, the very people that shouldn't even be allowed to be near children. Yeah, some bishop on the board is the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Chicago. None of these people, understand, none of these people did the right thing. They all knew. They knew what was going on because that's the reason the reporter called me. My, my former chief nursing officer didn't just all of a sudden know a reporter out of the blue. No, they all knew that I was contacting Joint Commission. Um, I think I, I contacted all these different advocacy at the federal, state. Nobody called me back. So they knew about it because of how high up they are and, and them being involved in juvenile justice. So to try to, you know, appease me, get a reporter to interview me for a story that was never going to go anywhere. I don't know who this woman is, but it, you could see it says, formerly served as administrator of Illinois Department of Child and Family Services, juvenile court liaison and the DCFS system Illinois Department of Children and Family Services has been a a freak show forever so of course Maryville who who really houses most of DCFS wards at least like in Cook County and surrounding areas they put them in the worst conditions they do deliberately it's why, it's why when I worked at that acute hospital, it was like they went out of their way to not acknowledge their birthdays. To, Christmas was just another day. Yeah, when you have trash like this, all these board members heading it up, and they tie back to juvenile justice, then that's how you keep it broken. I've said for a while now they deliberately keep it broken because at every avenue, they're controlling it. They control the, 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 the residentials for the DCFS systems. They control the juvenile system for those kids. Those kids, no wonder they, they know they're in a screwed up system. They, what's interesting too though about this is she's an active supporter of Loyola University. Yeah. The, the chief nursing officer that abused the 15 year old that's her old college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems to play a role here with Cure 2, Loyola University. Sean Madden, vice chair. So what's interesting about him, okay, is I believe his family is tied to Madden Hospital, which is in, well, actually, it's on the grounds of Loyola. It is in Maywood. Many people say Loyola's in Chicago. It's Cook County, but it's in Maywood, Illinois. It's and, and on the grounds of Loyola is Madden State Hospital. Mm -hmm. State Hospital. Not good. But most of the state hospitals aren't. For psych, I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it goes back to his family. So Sh Sean Madden's on the board. So do you see how they have control of everything? 
He's the president of Madden Communications based in the western or west suburb in Wooddale. Besides producing Maryville's annual report and calendar, I'm not going to read all of it, Brewing Company. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm positive it goes back to them. That's why it's called Madden. And it's on the grounds of Loyola. Uh, many of this, much of this ties back to Loyola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's good old Dick, Dick Devine, yeah. Served as Cook County State's Attorney. Let me uh, show you what he had to say about Sister Kathy. Yeah, they really loved each other. After being elected Cook County State's Attorney, Dick Devine called on Sister Kathy. Catherine Ryan to head up his Juvenile Justice Bureau. Hmm. Yeah, get the nun out there. Together, they crafted the Illinois Juvenile Justice Reform Act of 1998, which gave a more balanced and forgiving component to how youthful offenders are handled by the criminal justice system. After Sister Kathy was appointed executive, uh, she needs, there should be an investigation into this woman. Who knows if she's a nun even. I mean, she probably is, but she's a disgrace. I mean, I remember when I had to, when everything was over, but it wasn't really over, but I had to, I, I, I signed that I was resigning, but under, this was after the union had me rescind the resignation. Then I had to do this resigning thing, but I put under duress or I put something. And I remember looking at her, all these psychopaths, she knew what they did. She knew she was behind it, but why would she care? All these people have control over the whole psychiatric system, most especially when it comes to these kids. So, um, after Sister Kathy was appointed executive director of Maryville, she reached out to Divine to sit on the board. Kathy called and asked me to join the board, and I learned long ago that I will do things, Kathy asks. How nice, Dick. I also joined the board because I believe that Maryville is one of the few places left that can change lives. No, you hurt lives. You should, you, none of you people should be allowed near children. And I just wanted to show this because this is some CARES award Sister Kathy got. Like, she... These people give each other awards for they're so good. No, they're not. They're not. I saw the way they they keep these conditions, okay? And and then, of course, this is a woman holding an award, and yet she didn't care that her chief nursing officer from Loyola emotionally, I mean, the chief nursing officer graduated from Loyola's nursing school. She came from the psychiatry department, at University of Illinois Chicago, the very place Illinois Nurses Association was. And the former chief nursing officer I had was the one that brought the union in, all playing games, and not, and like, that's what baffled me. Nobody cared about this kid. Like, so when I say I went into that job with this idea or idea of what, how most people are in the world, I left there and I struggled for many years. Like, how can people just like not care about what? they do to a kid I that I mean now I get it there's just wicked people and they put you know they they're nuns they're they're bishops they're and they're heading up the board of Maryville and it needs to end so ultimately two years after everything they did to me sister Kathy Ryan got out there and said she has to close the acute hospital of Maryville which is where I was at and she blamed the union so it all gave them a reason to close the hospital and then there, because of money, they didn't have the money to, and the union was, you know, draining them dry. Yeah, I wonder how many walked away with a bunch of money. And here's why I say that. From the same article, in 2012, a federal occupational safety and health administration inspection resulted in citations and a finding of workplace violence hazards faced by employees, according to OSHA records. OSHA made a settlement with my former uh, chief nursing, nursing nursing officer that ended she was the one that brought the union in yeah she got a settlement from OSHA and then she moved to Hawaii and I thought oh she was so interested in us being in this union bringing the union in really pushing us and this would be why she went from being the chief nursing officer then only work then she decided to resign from that and she'll go back to being a staff nurse but only for a short time to then report this get a settlement move to Hawaii but never did any of these people care what they did to me or this 15 year old kid along with the nursing union how any of you people sleep at night unbelievable I think you're all sociopaths 